show you how to create this gorgeous, bouncy, loose curl look which is perfect for Valentine's Day or evenings or even if you wanted it for an everyday look. My hair usually falls in the middle parting but because I'm wanting a big voluminous side fringe I'm actually going to move this over for this look. Using a comb, make sure you get a nice straight line and I've done mine diagonally so that I've still got some hair left on this side. Now taking this front section of hair, I'm just going to clip this down and out of the way and then we're going to come back to this side a little bit later. Using my 230 gram clipping set in colour 1822, that I've pre-curled, I'm going to take the section of hair just below my ears um, and at the bottom of my head and I'm just going to clip this top section out of the way. Now I've got very fine soft hair so I always find that I need to back comb the hair before gripping my clips in. So I'm taking the piece with three clips and starting from the middle clip I'm going to put that in the centre of the back of my head. My next section I'm going to go from the top of my ears and taking a straight line round the back of the head, that's where my piece with four clips is going to clip onto. And not forgetting to back comb every section because it really does make those clips nice and secure. When you're putting your clip-ins in, make sure that you go from the middle clip or the middle two clips outwards because then it means that you've got them nice and central. Because I like my curls nice and soft, I give it a brush through constantly. Now to make sure that all of these shorter bits underneath blend in, I'm just going to slightly bend them with a set of hair straighteners. On to the side section now. I'm going to put three pieces in one side and just one piece in the other side. So this first section I'm going to have to take quite close to the ear just to make sure that we can get them all in. With these side pieces, I'm going to need to put the clip that's closest to the hairline in first, just to make sure they're not being clipped in too far forward. We still want to cover them up and blend them in nicely. This second section, we're probably going to want to take it about parallel to the eyebrows. Um, that's for me with my hair as being quite fine on top, so I need to not go too high up but I still do want it quite voluminous on top. This third section, I'm going to be taking it at a slight angle just to make sure that it can all be covered up nicely and I've still got enough hair to play with on top. Now that last piece from the clip-ins that we've got left, I'm going to put in my other side of hair and I'm going to take this section nice and close to the ear but also at a slight angle so that we have it nice and full around the face and that it can be covered up nicely. I 
I'm back combing that little piece of hair just above the clip in um, just to keep it all in place and to stop it parting at all and then I'm going to tuck it behind my ear and spray it all into place. I want a big voluminous fringe and height on top of my hair I'm going to back comb this section quite a lot spraying the back combed hair should mean that it shouldn't drop out throughout the night and it should stay lovely and voluminous for as long as I want it to I find back combing in sections so much easier than just doing the whole lot together and it also looks a lot neater. Make sure that you don't forget to back comb the back sections as well because we don't want the front all voluminous and then the back section just to be flat and lifeless. I prefer to use straighteners to curl my hair, but you could use a wand or a curling tongue, it's entirely up to you. I'm just going to flick it out slightly so that it blends in with the rest of the hair and gives me that really nice voluminous and glamorous flick. Using a tangle teaser, I'm just combing through the lengths just to make sure that all of those curls blend in with each other and look really soft and nice. Spritz of hairspray and a comb through underneath helps me to stop any of my shorter hairs from poking through. It means that they'll all be nice and blended through with the extensions, meaning that the hair looks really natural. The perfect go-to Valentine's Day hairdo. Thanks for watching guys and stay tuned.